Welcome to The Daily Dish with New York Times bestselling author, Leanne Ely. Putting vibrancy back into your everyday life and feeding your heart, mind, body, and soul. Join us every day at 1 p.m. Eastern for Motivational Monday, Tuesday's Tip, Wise Woman's Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday, Food Fight Friday, and of course, Q&A, where no question is off limits, and Soulful Saturday. Here is your host, Leanne Ely and The Daily Dish. It's Friday! Happy Friday, everyone. Come on in. Let's go and get busy. It's Friday. That means we have questions. And I've got the answers. So let me grab them really quick and pull them up. Who's in the house? Come on in. There it is. Airtable. Clap, clap. There we go. Okay, gosh, so many good questions. I can't wait. Has anybody said hello yet? Come on, say hi. I haven't seen one hello yet. Who's going to be the first one to say hello? Well, I'm just going to say hello to each one of one of you. I love it. There's Sarah. She's the first one. Let's rumble. That's right. And let me just tell you, I am so ready already for tomorrow's show. Hi, Patsy, Justin, Justine, sorry, good to see you, Catherine, hello. Uh, I got mixed up, Justine, I was talking to Justin, so that gets, Renski, good to see you, thank you so much for showing up. Jackie's in the house, hello everyone, Dawn is here. We're excited about today, Sarah's, we got, a, our Sarah's are all um, reporting in for duty. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's going to be a good day today. Have you, have you made that decision yet? I've decided today is going to be a brilliant, wonderful, amazing day. You know what? When we make those decisions first thing in the morning, funny how it works out for us. Angie, hello. Marguerite, good to see you. Thanks so much for showing up. When you show up, it just lights me up. Martha, Susan, hello. Hello. Good to see you. Anyway, so today's Friday. On Fridays, we always do question and answer. You have the option of sending in questions to me at any time during the week. When you send them in to support at savingdinner.com and in that subject line, when you say question for Leanne on Friday, it shows up right here and I answer them. That's how it rolls. That's how it all works. And I'm telling you, we have 10 questions for today. So they're good ones. Hi, Carol, good to see you. I'm glad you're here. And good to see anybody else who floated through the, the, the um, feed and I missed. Um, believe me, I see all of you and I really, you know, again, gratitude. Today I'm wearing my More Love sweatshirt. I think that's an important thing for right now, don't you? I think we all need more love and we need to be giving it out. Um, and I'm calling you all to be a beacon of the light that we all need in our lives right now. This, there's no room right now for gloating or um, being sad or anything else, if you, especially if you've been watching all the election fall to raw going on. You know what? We need to understand that um, our rulers are appointed by God. That's what we're told in the Bible. I believe that with all of my heart. And so let's just go with that, shall we? And let me just say one other thing about that. And then I'm going to drop this whole thing. That it doesn't matter you know, but you need to know who rules your heart, right? You need to know who rules your heart, your life, and your thoughts, because that's the most important thing right now to me. That's the one thing that I can control. It's the one thing you can control as well. So let's be those beacons of light. Let's be full of love, more love, more love people. We need that right now. We need that. So thank you again for showing up. Thanks for sharing this like you do. And again, I don't have anything here to show you, but I promise you I'll get it done for tomorrow. We've got a lot of things going on, lots of questions that I wanna to get to. But first of all, I just want you to know, remember, remember, on Monday, we start our sprint. We also have a webinar happening on, on Monday. It's, it's just, yeah, it has been exhausting, Carol. We also have on Monday, we have, um, our Get Strong, Stay Strong webinar. 
This is all about how important body weight especially is on using your own body weight in order to get fit. That works, right? Are you willing to do that? I'm willing to go there, 100%. I'll tell you what, I have found, and this is what I have been doing, I have not been able to use my Peloton because it's all internet-based can't get on, it just gets on and the wheel spins. You know we've been having internet problems. So if you wanna put some energy and some prayers toward the AT&T towers that have been down since October 24th, the only way I'm getting internet, this is from Marla. This is her MiFi, you know? <laughs> this is how we're getting internet. If it wasn't for Marla, I would be I would be off the line right now. So let's have a little prayer, prayers going up for getting that AT&T tower fixed. It's just, it's kind of, uh, it's raining on my parade. I don't want that. And don't forget, we have Thanksgiving menus that we give away every single year. It's not just a menu. It's not just a menu. No, no, not Monday, November 2nd. Debbie, that's already passed. <laughs> Next Monday, November 9th, okay? Anyway, so here's what you need to know. Um, we have uh, coming, we have the Thanksgiving menus. I don't care how you do Thanksgiving. That is 100% up to you. Is it classic? Is it paleo? Is it keto? We've got a menu for you. You're gonna love it. Um, not only is it a menu, it's the recipes, it's the shopping list, it's all of it. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash thanks and pick them all up. Debbie, I don't know what you're talking about, but that's okay. We will, you know, we'll we'll help you out in any way that we can. We've got we have people standing by. <laughs> don't forget about the Bio Omega 3X. That's our supplement of the week. Do you know you never have to pay retail again? Never, ever, ever, ever. That just makes my day. You don't have to pay retail. When you put three in your cart, we will put the fourth one in for you free. When you get the fourth one free, you can also get ships free. All you have to do is put three in your cart. We will ship it to you free, as long as you put ships free in the promo window when you're checking out, and we will add the fourth um, Bio Omega 3X. You know, that, that Bio Omega 3X is something. Did you know people actually die from having a lack of omega-3 fatty acids in their body? We have to take them in, folks. We don't manufacture them ourselves. This is, you know, if we had a core four, this would have, if we didn't have this, this would have been part of the core four because it's that critical and important. And let me just also say, fish oil burps are the worst. They're disgusting. When it repeats on you, it's the worst. We use a dried fish oil in this, and it's fantastic, it's clean, it's GMP certified, all of the things, and uh, you will not get the repeat. Who wants to be tasting fish? Ew, that's nasty. And, the pinkies up cup, yeah, you get that too. You get that when you order $200 worth of stuff or you decide you want one. We can do that too and put Mindful Mug in the checkout code. We have all the things. We have so many fun things. And I tell you about this stuff too because we hear, the, the name of our show is called The Daily Dish because we dish about all the things, right? All the things. And this is what I want you to know. We are all about putting vibrancy back into your life. That's it. And you can't do that with just one thing. It has to hit all the bases. Heart, mind, body, and soul. That's why we talk about the things that we ha are talking about. And tomorrow, Soulful Saturday, do not miss this show, okay? Do not miss this show. Bring your notepad. I've already worked it all out, and it is, it's gonna be, this is my cosmic two by four for my own personal um, devotions this morning. It's going to be yours as well. I listened to this amazing sermon by Reverend Ike. Um, you can find him on the YouTube and uh, just fantastic about digging ditches. And I can't wait to share it with you tomorrow because it, it blew me away. Cosmic 2 by 4s are all the thing, right? So anyway, that's what we've got going on. And we've got the, and then people have been asking about our skincare trio. I'm going to tell you about that too, just in just a little while. But just hang in there with me, would you? And don't forget to take advantage of these Bio Omega 3s. This is, this is how you should be buying your supplements every single week. This is it. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash show for the supplement of the week. 
put three in your cart. We will do the fourth one for you. And when you write ships free, we'll also send it to you free as long as you live here in the United States. <laughs> and I left my downstairs is where you're going to find all of my uh, hot melt mix and everything. I left it all downstairs. You know, it happens. Uh, quote of the week, which you can't see because I it's backwards. Sorry about that. Freedom begins between the ears. Boy, we've been going long and hard on that all this week because when we can get to that place of understanding that, when we can understand that our, our thoughts are, are going to impact absolutely every single thing that we do in our lives and it's gonna, it's gonna completely create a tra trajectory, it's gonna create a path to the life you either want or don't. It depends on what your thoughts are. That's how critical it is. That's how important it is. That's why we keep driving in the stake into the ground because I want you to have that. I want you to have that freedom of having the words between your ears give you that kind of grace, give you that kind of a pathway toward vibrancy. Yes, Bio Omega 3X is fish oil. Okay, it's just a dried fish oil. It's a better way to do it because it's not rancid. You always have to wonder, is this rancid fish oil? Because you don't know what kind of storage facility this has been in. You don't know. We just don't know about that. This is why this is so important. And I believe that's one of the reasons why you get that repeat. Nasty stuff, man. Who, uh, fish oil burps? No, thank you. Just say no. <laughs> Anyway, so it is Q&A today, and we get, always get great questions, and today is no exception. As a matter of fact, there are 10 of them. If you ask a question today, it will not be, you, you won't get answered. But if you send it into support at savingdinner.com, we will answer it next Friday. Just put in that subject line, that just helps us out. Question for Leanne on Friday. And let's get down to business. First one is from our girl, Sarah. And she says, I added hot milk mix to my collagen shots and they all tasted like citrus hot milk mix. What did I do wrong? Did hot milk mix used to be unflavored? Well, I don't know which collagen you used. I'm gonna guess it's vanilla, our vanilla PPP, per perfect paleo protein. Uh, but yeah, it does. It has quite a citrusy flavor. It's like, I think it tastes like an orange creamsicle. I think it's delicious and it helps with that. <laughs> Debbie says she's looking for a job to feed her supplement cravings. Become a Nutra coach. I'll teach you how. <laughs> you should do that. Um, but anyway, the, this whole thing, yeah, it, it does have that flavor. There's nothing that you did wrong. It has a good flavor so that we like it. You know, it's, it's pretty tasty. So that's what happens. And it will taste like an orange creamsicle. That's what you need to start looking at. What does it taste like? Orange creamsicle. Yum. There it is. All right, this is from our Jen, and she says, what's the difference between pea protein shakes and hydro beef protein shakes? Well, ours is collagen. It's two different types. It's a marine and a beef collagen, the, the, which is better because then you get all the peptides. Um, and it's also from, the it's carefully sourced. So you're getting grass-fed beef, and you're also getting wild marine, which means that you're not getting any of that farm-raised CAFO stuff this is all really delicious. Oh, you use the chocolate as well. Gosh, I don't know what to say about that. Now you have all these different flavors, you know, yum. <laughs> anyway, um, but you can just take it out and then do it separately on the side, that also works. So the difference between pea protein is one is made with pea and the other is made with collagen. Collagen is a protein that I like to see people get into their lives every single day. Here's the problem that we have right now. Because we have gone on this low fat, uh, no fat kind of a kick and everybody was buying boneless, skinless chicken breasts, you've seen them, you've seen them, we've paid a premium price for it. But we also paid a premium price with our health because there's no tendons or marrow bones in there, there's no skin or anything where all the collagen is hiding. We're just eating pure protein. Pure, and don't, don't get me wrong, pure protein is fine but we have a collagen deficit in our lives. And when we have that collagen deficit, that's pr a problematic because collagen is a structural protein. In other words, all the structures in your body are dependent on collagen. 
And we don't manufacture it, we need to take it in, we need to eat it. And that's why I am such a proponent, that's why I'm so wild and crazy about collagen. And I have seen in my own life the difference in my skin, the difference in my joints, the difference in the way I feel is all due to collagen. It's good for your hair, nails, skin, all the stuff you can see. Also on the inside, it helps building better joints. It helps with mobility in your joints. It helps with your stomach lining. It helps with your gut lining. Your gut lining, that's critical. That's important because all these things that build also support your body. Now, what's the difference with that? Pea protein doesn't have any collagen in it. Pea protein isn't gonna be doing that. It's not just a matter of protein, it's a matter of structural protein. And this is why I push hard over into doing perfect paleo protein over all the other ones. It's not that we have protein deficits in our lives. Most of us can get that easily. You can get it eating, you know, a, a, a smothered, you know, our smothered burger, the hot milk smothered burger with the burger and the and the bacon and the, the um, all the delicious mushrooms all over it. That's a delicious thing. You're going to get the same kind of protein that you're going to get from the pea protein from that meal. The collagen, on the other hand, completely completely different protein, completely different functionality. Yes, it's got the protein, but it's got the structural protein. And I really, you know, I, I will scream this from the mountaintops, especially if you've had hip problems, especially if you've had any kind of joint problems, especially if your skin isn't where you want it to be, especially if you're go looking at your hair and going, whoa, what happened here? You start thinking collagen, structural. This, as a matter of fact, there's more collagen in your bones then there is collagen, then there's calcium in your bones. Absolutely necessary, has to be there in order for the integrity of your bone to be strong. We always think calcium, calcium, calcium. Well, you know what factual, the fact is, not only do we need calcium, we also need an e even amount of magnesium and we need to be taking our vitamin D in order for the whole thing to magically happen together. It's like baking a cake. You know, you've got to have the eggs, but you've got to have the leaven, and you've got to have the flour and the sugar and the butter and all that other kind of stuff to make a cake happen. We need these proper ingredients. That's your body's no different. Your body needs the ingredients that it needs in order to do the work that it needs to do. So how much collagen? I suggest strongly a scoop of collagen a day. It's about 20 grams in our Perfect Paleo Protein. And I also recommend um, bone broth every single day as well, also another source of collagen. Um, but it also has um, both collagen and, you know, just both our perfect paleo protein and both our, uh, and uh, bone broth also have glycine and lysine in them, which also help with the, it, you know, basically feeds the collagen. That's oversimplified, but that's the reason why. The other thing is you will not get a stomach upset from collagen. It's very mild, very easy. With pea protein, it's full of lectins. Lectins are anti-nutrients and actually have little hooks on them and dig right into your gut lining and can cause leaky gut. So understand our gut lining has is about the, the thinness uh, of a strand of hair. Did you know that? I mean, super thin. And I, I just want you to keep that in mind. And you know, like if you've ever taken the casing off a sausage, that's exactly what our gut lining is about too, that thin. So it is, very susceptible to anti-nutrients. That's why I'm not a pea, pea protein fan. For me, it makes me sick. I can't even do, and we've had pea proteins. We have like one canister of pea protein downstairs um, in, the, in the warehouse. Can't handle it. I can't handle it. I'm like, yeah, you know, maybe I should just, you know, use it up and get it done, but you then know, have a scoop of it and it just makes me sick to my stomach. That's the anti-nutrients in it. That's, that's a problem, so. If it works for you, fine, but you, do, you don't get the benefit of the collagen. The other thing is I also strongly recommend, and I guess I don't have it sitting here on my desk, usually I do, is um, also taking with it beauty support because beauty support helps you to manufacture your own collagen. We can manufacture it, but very little, and especially as we get older, we manufacture less. So it's important that we give our bodies what they need in order to manufacture it, and we take it in and you can just, you will see the outside benefit. You're, you will benefit inside first, because remember, we start with uh, our hierarchy of need, 
and inside we're going to start doing the repair work that we need to do and then on the outside suddenly we're going to look at one day and say oh look how good my skin looks oh my jawline i just saw this with a coaching client this week we were on the phone now of course she she um lost weight and and everything as well but i could see this just an amazing difference in her face and her jawline i'm gonna say that's collagen just gonna say you know we get older but we don't necessarily need to just you know melt down like a wax figure it can happen for us and i that's the exciting part about taking uh the collagen in so you're always going to hear me just screaming about unless some study comes out saying that it's all horrible and it's going to make your you know hair fall out and your teeth fall out and you're going to you know end up stooped over like an old turtle on the ground i don't believe that's going to happen but if you know i'll let you know if there's <laughs> a problem um it's called beauty support. I don't know what Whippet beauty support is. It's called beauty support. And that is um, one, of our, one of our supplements. Okay, um, this is from Diane and she said, I'm loving the skincare trio. By the way, this is our skincare trio. I'm gonna show it to you. Show and tell, yay! Isn't it so pretty? There it is. That's our deep moisture cream. Then we've got the Deep Moisture uh, Serum, which is incredible. And we also have the Wise Women's Eye, Neck, and Lip Cream. It, it, story behind that is that I got so sick and tired of all these skin companies trying to basically peddle the same thing for your eye, over your lip, and in your neck as, as three different things. Come on, give me a break. You know, <laughs> give me a break. So um, this is, it's just a more emol emollient cream. It goes deeper because we get those fine lines by our eyes. We get those wrinkles over our lips, unfortunately. And we also have it all, 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 all down here um, in our neck. We want that neck to be nice and supple. Makes a difference. Um, so I will tell you, my little 62-year-old face is loving this skincare. It doesn't make you greasy. It doesn't make you feel like you're all gooped up. And that's really important. So my strong suggestion, go to savingdinner.com forward slash trio and get your order in because we have a discount for all three of them. The other thing is, what a fabulous Christmas present. And this stuff lasts forever. I still haven't figured out how long, but I'm gonna say probably two or three months. So that's a good deal. And it's a good screaming deal on this. So as far as she's asking, oh, sorry, Diane had a question. She said, are you gonna add a cleanser to this? Uh, yes, and I'm working with our formulator on getting a cleanser in. So there you go. Um, anyway, there you go. Uh, we are going to be doing that. So just you know, watch for all the, the different things. I've got a list of supplements that I'm interested in formulating. I've got a list of skincare and, and self-care type things that we're lit, interested in formulating. and. And working out um, just you know what uh, we appreciate the fact that you keep us in business and we know and we know without a shadow of a doubt you could go somewhere else and buy your supplements but you buy them from us and for that we're always grateful every single day we have gratitude for you you are on my gratitude list every single day number one and number two um, this is all carefully done this is all done according to standards that I wouldn't I, I wouldn't allow anything less than it's GMP certified it's done right here in the United States it's you know we do, we get to participate in the formulation process to make sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed this is important to me because I this you are you're taking in the same supplements that I am and I'm not going to give you an inferior product so I appreciate that thank you for your support and yeah, keep ordering your supplements from up for us. The more you order, the more we're able to create and, and bring to the table new things that I know you're gonna love. Thank you. Sarah says they're the bomb.com. Thank you very much, Sarah. You're right, they are. They're really good stuff. They're all made here too. That's critical. Because if you, I have seen some places of where they make these supplements. I've seen the, you know, there's been some pretty horrific stuff out there, and especially the stuff that's cheap and made overseas. I would not do that to you, okay? Just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so that skincare, that, that cleanser's coming. Um, it's just a matter of, of time. That's all. My Patty has a question. 
Do you share your salad dressing recipe? I would love to try it. Well, I would love to share it with you. Yes, Patty, I share it with you. And you know what? I love that I can tell you what it is off the top of my head because I really believe that we should firmly, that we should all have something that we can just pull out of our pockets and do without having to go look it up. How dumb is that, right? Because we all need this. So here's my recipe and you can fill in the blank with the different things that you want. Number one, you need, it's a three to one ratio for a good olive oil. We use, um, we, we love our olive oil. We get fresh pressed olive oil. It's unbelievably wonderful. And so three tablespoons, for example, to one tablespoon of acid. Now, that acid can be anything like um, balsamic, it can be apple cider vinegar. Make sure you go with a good apple cider vinegar. That means it has the mother and it's organic, okay? Those two things, important. Um, it can stay away from white vinegar. White vinegar is a little too, has a little too high on acidic acid and really shouldn't be used for human consumption. It's too hard on your stomach. But, um, so I would do any kind of a vinegar that you want. If you want like a, a red wine vinegar, use it. A champagne vinegar, use it. If you want rice wine vinegar, use it. Whatever vinegar you want, or even lemon juice. But the ratio is three to one, okay? Got that part? The next part for my, just for the classic vinaigrette that I make, is I use about a, uh, I'm gonna say about a quarter of a teaspoon of a good Dijon mustard. Not yellow mustard, not the stuff that we put on hot dogs, Dijon mustard. It's just, that's just an upper level of, of Dijon. I just use a Dijon mustard that I get at um, Trader Joe's, or you can use the Grey Poupon. <laughs> I mean, whatever you wanna use, but just use a good Dijon mustard and just that little bit of it. And then you wanna use garlic and use the fresh stuff, you know, not the stuff that's chopped up and in a jar. That's kind of sketchy. Use fresh garlic, take it out of the wrapper, squeeze it and put it in. And then just a teensy pinch, pinch of, of uh, pink salt, some fresh grinding of pepper, and then you're gonna take a little whisk or a fork and just go with it. The mustard helps it to emulsify so it all stays together. And that's just a classic French uh, vinaigrette. I use it on everything and it's delicious. The other thing is it gets kind of thick um, but you can extend that if you want to. One of the things that I've done before in the past is taken frozen artichoke hearts that I've gotten from Trader Joe's or whatever, put, put them in a jar, and then added my own vinaigrette, and then I filled it up. Then I take that vinaigrette, you know, and fill it up with just a little bit more olive oil, a little bit more vinegar, just to kind of get all that flavor in there, and it's just fantastic. But I, if, if there's one thing that I could do, it would be to say to everyone, go take a look at the labels of all those salad dressings that are lined up in your in your refrigerator in the door. A lot of crappy stuff in there. They just I mean, there's ingredients you can't pronounce and if you but if you go with the expensive stuff, they have a touch, <laughs> a touch of olive oil, but not the good stuff that you would have in your home. So think about this. When we when we go and just up level our ingredients list all the way, that's when things start to really happen. That's when things really start, to, you start to take control of your health because it's inflammatory. All those seed oils are inflammatory, especially if you're doing like, you know, Wesson oils and all those just crappy oils and plastic bottles and bleh, not good, not good. So this is what we need to do. Um, Jimmy, you can find our collagen if you go to savingator.com um, forward slash, I don't know. I show, I think that, that you can find all of our supplements there. And it's the perfect paleo protein. That's what it is. That's what you want to order. We have it in vanilla, unflavored, and chocolate. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Remember, it's grass-fed beef and it's wild marine. Those are two different types of collagen so that you get all your peptides in. All right, the next one is from Patsy. Okay, this is a good question. What food plan is best for eczema sufferers? I've babbled this forever. My mother said when I was a baby, she introduced different foods too soon. That's probably true. People were doing that. You know, I did it with my kids. I Both of my kids had uh, eczema. Skin would peel off my, me, my diaper area. Ooh, ouch. As an adult, I get cracks and oozing behind the ears, red patches on my temple. 
cortisone, of course, in a tube, hydrocortisone works. Um, yes, it does, but it also damages your adrenals. Also, try juicing. That helps. It, I did a lot of green vegetables. Um, a couple of things, and, and I will just tell you that, you know, on occasion, we have a juicer, and on occasion, I go full bam. It's just like, all of a sudden, I just have this, like, idea that it's time to go juice because I just need, I feel like I need to get my nutrients caught up. <clears throat> when we're doing nutrients, getting our nutrients into our bodies, remember, it's just, it's coming in, it's flooding our cells, and everything is on the cellul cellular level, right? When, when one little mitochondria is fed, so are all the others. And that is all about your energy. That's, you know, if your mitochondria is sluggish and tired, so are you. But if it's going and it's just like pumping away and it's on top of things, so are you. You're gonna feel a lot better. So it makes all the difference in the world. So on occasion, you know, do your green juicing. Yes, green juicing, really important that we don't go with all those fruits and everything because that's just, that is gonna be an insulin nightmare and, and set you up for a sugar rush like you wouldn't believe. Yes, I know it's natural, but your body still says, guess what? This is, this is <laughs> Lizzie. Lizzie goes, new workshop on juicing. I, I have one somewhere. I did one with Josh Axe a few years ago. Josh and I are friends and um, you know, really good stuff, really good stuff. He's the king of juicing. He has a lot of stuff about that. We might put that out. But, but the thing is with eczema, when you're looking at skin disorders, you're looking at a high um, likely, um, a high likelihood of having an omega-3 fatty acid uh, deficiency. So what I would highly recommend is that you start with omega-3 fatty acids. Now, the cat, the, the um, start with that, and what we're looking at is one capsule, one capsule, right? Well, I say not just one, but maybe two, maybe even a third one, and just see how it makes you feel. I would also strongly suggest, because I think this is um, super important, is putting a good oil on that skin. I would even go with MCT oil, because MCT is basically like a pharmaceutical grade um, uh, coconut oil. It has caprylic um, acid in it, which acts as a micro, my, micro, uh, micro microbial. It also acts as an, um, um, it acts as a healer. It goes right in. It's, an, it's a medium chain triglyceride. It goes right in and starts to do the work. It's really good stuff. Um, there was a time in my, you know, when my face was completely covered with rosacea and was a complete mess. That's one of the things that I did as I did my, my Bio Omega 3X three times a, a day because I know my body was, you know, necessarily working on it. Collagen beauty support, absolutely 1000%. I would also add in, of course, doing your bone broth all the time. Staying away from any inflammatory stuff because what we know is that you have, this is, this is where you're, you have like a constitutional weakness, if you will. These things show up. This is the stuff that has shown up for you. So in order to combat that, we need to have something um, yes, Patsy, exactly. The same MCT oil that goes into your smoothies you can take, put into a little bottle and put onto your skin just a little bit at a time and just watch the healing happen. It makes a difference. Calendula is another thing. That's a marigold extract um, and that helps also amazingly with the healing. So I would do both. I would do that, um, and a little MCT oil, a little jojoba oil, and then calendula as well. Put that all together, do your own thing, and just, just put it on there. Make sure you're doing your Biomega, make sure you're doing all of the things, and having an absolutely clean, clean, clean anti-inflammatory diet. Because remember that inflammation starts on the inside and it works its way out. So we have to start the healing on the inside so it can work its way out. Let's give our bodies what it needs. You know, we give our bodies the right building materials and it just never fails to um, disappoint, you know? It, your body knows exactly what to do with this stuff. Give it what it needs and watch the magic happen. It's gonna take a minute to heal, and I, I'm not saying that this is a cure. We don't cure eczema, but we can certainly make it a whole lot better. And I will tell you right now that neither one of my children who were covered with eczema as children have eczema to this day, neither one of them. Okay, it can, it, you, can, 
you can fix things, you know? This is from Christy and she's got a cooking question. When recipes call for specific types of onions, for example, green onions, shallots, leeks, is it okay to use an onion instead? How do those particular onions versus plain old onions affect the recipes? I love this, good question. Um, it really depends. You knew I would say that, didn't you? It really depends because here's the thing, what we need to understand is that if you've got a potato leek recipe, for example, yeah, you can get rid of the leeks and you can put onions in instead and you're still going to get a potato leek recipe. That's it. You're still gonna get a, a, a nice potato recipe. The leeks, however, have a very unique and different flavor. The leeks are stronger and a little more potent and they're gonna um, bring out the potato flavor and they have a nice balance. Same thing with a green onion. A green onion, one of the reasons we use like the green onions all the time in the hot milk sprint is because it's the least carby of all onions. That's why, you're probably wondering, oh, now I know it. <laughs> you know, that, but that's, the exactly, um, that's exactly the reason why. So what you need to do then is take a look at what the recipe is calling for. I loved cooking with leeks too, Lizzie. What my strong, strong, strong suggestion though is that if it's something very specific, like use a shallot, for example, versus a regular onion, there's a reason for that. I believe that shallots are sort of like um, an onion and garlic got together and had a baby and it was a shallot, <laughs> you know, because it's almost garlicky. It's super potent. Um, very, very few times in my life have I ever, um, have I ever made a decision to eat shallots raw. I've had a, I had a recipe that was a white champagne vinegar shallot recipe, but it was super strong. Um, and I used them on oysters, you know, I used them on raw oysters. So that kind of a thing is just a little bit different. Usually shallots need to be cooked. Usually green onions are not cooked, although they can be. Red onions are, for the most part, are not cooked. That's also called a Spanish onion. It's a little bit sweeter and it has the bite of an onion, but it is a little bit sweeter and it loses itself really in the cooking. I've used it on occasion. Um, as a matter of fact, in our Thanksgiving menu, I've got a sweet potato recipe that will knock your socks off that is um, quite different than any other sweet potato recipe you have, which has red onion in it, um, and it has some olive oil, lemon pepper, and just delicious, by the way, um, because it's not that cloying, you know, sweet, over-the-top sweet potato, because you got sweet potatoes with the maple syrups and the sweet brown sugar and all the marshmallows and the candied pecans and all of that. And I, I'm like, well, what are you tasting there? Except, you know, diabetes, <laughs> you know, it's just like this sweet over the top stuff. So this, um, keeps it like that. So make sure that as you're cooking that you, if you have to replace something, replace it with something that's a uh, similar to what it is. You can't just replace a shallot, for example, with, um, a red onion. That's, almost likely not to work. There isn't just this conditional replacement thing. It really depends on what the recipe is about. She said, sidebar, I'm learning to, I'm learning to look forward to cooking for my husband. My children are all adults living on their own and fabulous cooks thanks to their father's genes example and love of cooking. Well, Christy, you're on your way to becoming a fabulous cook. You know, cooking is a joy. It really is a joy. It's a craft less than it is, you know, an art form. And as you get comfortable with it, understanding that this is just chemistry, you know, you're making chemistry happen uh, in that saute pan and all of this. And when you understand the different things like, you know, we saute on high so that we can have the onions actually sort of dance because saute means to jump. Uh, so we have them kind of dancing in the pan. That's to get a brown on them and we get the brown on them, we're bringing the, it's called caramelization, we're bringing the sugar of the that onion out, and you can taste it, they taste a little bit sweeter. It's just, you know, it's lovely how this all works, and when we have a good understanding, a good firm fitting, then we're gonna know what to do to the next thing, you know, with the next thing. We also, by the way, Christy, we have a, a thing called Cooking Camp, we were promoting it um, heavily this summer, wanting to get your kids to, uh, learn how. We'll put a link in the chat here. I'm sure Jenny or Amber can do that, but we'll put a link in the chat 
that basically gives you, uh, you know, tells you how step by step all the way through how to do some cooking. Easy lessons to do and there's recipes so you can practice them and you'll become proficient in the kitchen without even, you know, blinking, it, which is my goal for everyone because it's really fun to cook, isn't it? I love cooking. Okay, this is from Carol. She said, Carol says, when you purchase packaged greens and lettuces, do you wash them before eating them? Yes. The package states that the greens have been triple washed. So, here's how I look at that. Um, I look at that as good. I say good. They're, they're triple clean, they, you know, they're, they're great. The only time that I change my mind on that is with those baby lettuces. And after about a day or two, the, you start to get like some, some loser lettuce leaves in there that, that need to be pulled out. They start to get a little squishy and a little weird. And so I pull them all out, then I'll wash the lettuce to make sure that there's no residual weirdness on the other lettuce leaves and give them a spin. I love salad spinners, by the way. That should be something that you keep. But I'm also gonna tell you right now, I am sick and tired of these big tubs of little baby lettuces not making it all through a week. You know, when they say there's 10 days on it, it never makes it through. Baby spinach in a tub, I'm all about that. I don't triple wash it or anything, but we, we seem to go through it fast enough so it's not a problem. But those baby spin, baby lettuces, I just, I wish it, it could be, you know, in, in all things, it would be wonderful and it would never be a problem, but that's what I do. I have to pick through them sometimes, wash them and give them a spin or whatever. So lately I've been on this whole thing. Don't even buy it. Don't even buy it. Cause Mark does all our grocery shopping. Just get a nice organic head of red leaf lettuce. I love red leaf lettuce. Um, and you know, what, one of the things that we need to do, just be on the aware, be on the lookout for yourself that when we're out there buying whatever it is that we're buying, look at the color of what the thing is that you're buying. You want dark green as much as possible, dark leafy greens, and you want that dark green to go from the outside all the way in. You know, that's why cucumbers are less nutritional um, bombs the way that some other vegetables are, like broccoli is over cucumber any day of the week. Well, dark green on the outside and then on the inside it's white. The other thing is, buy don't buy those waxy cucumbers, they're nasty. Buy the English cucumber that's, you know, usually they're wrapped in plastic so you can eat the outside of it. That's where the nutrition is. And it's mostly water anyway. I think it's a really uh, good stuff. You're gonna really like that. Okay, this is from Rensky, which I, who I saw, she's not even here in the United States and I thought this was great. Um, Okay, she says, my life has changed somewhat in the last two months. Eating low carb often, making good choices, getting my supplements and also exercise. I go and exercise three times a week. Thank you for getting me on the right path. My husband does support me in all of this and he benefits along, better meals and all of that. But although he's proud of me, it seems like he's had to adjust more to this new life than I have. He misses the time we used to spend on the couch watching TV which is my exercise time. Maybe it's also the fact that exercising is me time now. I never got so much time or took the time it is the honest way to look at this, doing my own thing. The real problem, I think, is not him missing me, but me feeling guilty about the me time. Does that make sense? At the same time, I'm so proud of me. Not a real question, perhaps, but maybe you can share some of your light or wisdom on the subject for me. Um, with sincere regards, Pauline. And she says, P.S. Forgive my English. It's not my native language. Due to the time difference, I won't watch you live. Well, I'm just going to say, first of all, how many of us can also say, amen, sister, I know what you mean. I think this is a problem that we have. Um, this is a woman problem. Okay? It's a woman problem. And the reason that I'm saying that this, and this is not a sexist thing, we are so conditioned that we give, 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 and we give, give, give. We give to the kids, we give to the job, we give to the husband, we give to our homes, we give to the laundry, we give to cleaning the toilets. We are givers, and we are constantly making sure everyone is taken care of. And where do we go? We go to the back burner. 
we're like, okay, well, we'll take care of that when we've got the time for that. And what do we find? We find we come to the end of another day and not one self-care thing has been done for us because we don't have the time. We feel guilty about taking the me time. And I want to say to you, Pauline, um, first of all, bless you. Bless you. We're all in this together and this is exactly what we all do. We feel guilty that we're taking the time that we need for ourselves. We feel guilty about that. And I'm gonna say to you, no more guilt, no more. This is you having a voice in your life. This is you saying, I wanna have this time for me. This is you saying, I am so proud of me. And you know what you say to your husband who is supporting you? And you know, okay, you know what you say to him? That means the world to me. Your support means everything. Thank you for that. I so appreciate it. And then you know what you say to your guilt? Get out of here. I'm done with that because freedom begins between my ears. That's what I'm going to be concentrating on. I am right now. I want you to see something and this is a flip for you. Okay. I want you to see that when you are spending this time on yourself, feeling good, feeling wonderful about all this stuff that you're doing, you're bringing that gift of yourself to your husband as well. You got that? You're bringing that gift to your husband as well. And that is what you need to be looking at. What you think about expands. What you think about expands greatly. And know this to know this, Rensky, that when you do this, and when you're doing this act of self-care and this act of love, you are also showing the entire world and making a declaration to the entire universe that you matter and that you're putting your, your, your hand out first. You're gonna help everybody else and you're saying to your husband how much you love him, that you wanna stay around. And as a matter of fact, just let him know. That, that this is exactly why you're doing You're doing this for him. You're doing this for your family. And you're doing this for yourself as well. And that you matter. You, you, you've got a better situation, by the way, than, than some women do. I've, I've had some women where their husbands are just absolutely 100% not supportive. And having a voice in their lives and having a voice in what it is that they're doing, um, they feel guilty because their husbands are also making them or saying things that, perpetuate that whole idea. You're, he's not doing that. That's your own mind doing that. It's because you're used to it. This is what we've done for years and years. This is, we've been these sa sacrificial lambs and laid our lives down and being the big martyrs of our lives, sometimes not quite so dramatic, but at the same time, this is what we've done. I believe it's, you know, in our DNA that we care for everyone, that taking care of our people, I think it's a beautiful thing. We take care of our people, we feed them. We go into the kitchen and we are delighted at being able to turn out this lovely meal. There is nothing wrong with that. That is not a sexist thing. It's very feminist, as a matter of fact. But it's also very feminist, if you will, to stand up for yourself and say, you know, that's, that's an inappropriate use for guilt. Use guilt for something that's worthy of your time. This is not. What's worthy of your time is gratitude. And thank your husband for being such a support. What a wonderful man he is. And, and that's where your, your, all of your focus needs to be. And then afterwards, when you're done, go take your shower or whatever and go snuggle up on the couch with him and give him a big kiss and tell him how wonderful he is. That's how I think we flip these things on their sides. We start looking, we start you know, breaking down. How are we thinking about this and why are we thinking about this? And let's refocus on the things that we want in our lives. That's gonna light your husband up and I'm going to tell you what, he's going to be your biggest cheerleader ever in the whole entire universe. And that's how I feel about it. <laughs> Hello, lovely Aunt Leanne. This is from our friend Mary. I'm having my annual physical and blood test. I'm wondering if you have a list of recommended tests. We'll ask for them while, it's, it, while it is covered in Medicare. In the past, her interest was primarily her, the A1C. She's catching up on her program. Mary, so if you need to go to, um, you have to ask for any inflammatory markers. That's what I would ask for. I would also ask for a vitamin D test. 
Um, and I would also ask her for uh, a full thyroid panel as well as antibodies and just make sure that everything is running. You know, I, I'm not an expert though uh, on Medicare or anything like that, but this is gonna give us a good, a good round view of how everything is. Um, if there's a question about cholesterol or anything, see if she can run a particle test for your cholesterol, which means they look at the size of the particles because that's the thing that impacts you know all the inflammation. Remember this, cholesterol tests are based on the theory that it's cholesterol that is, is causing problems with your heart. It's a theory, it's not a, it's not a defined thing. And if you want more information, you wanna read from a cardiologist's point of view, a whole different way of looking at it. He says it's inflammation that pumps up the cholesterol. It's not the cholesterol going up, it's inflammation, which makes more sense if you think about it. But um, his name is uh, Dr. Stephen Sinatra. It's called the cholesterol myth. I strongly recommend that for everyone to read because I just I think that's just so um, critically important. And our last question is uh, from Lynn. She said, I was wondering what happens after next week's hot melt. How do I continue? Thanks, Leanne. I love your daily inspirations. Thanks, Lynn, for that. That's so sweet. I appreciate that. Um, we are going to, by the way, and I'm going to tell everybody now, this is a good, I mean, just, boy, talk about it. Talk about teeing it up. <laughs> um, this, is a, this is what you need to know, that we are doing a whole new webinar this next Thursday coming up. I'll give you the link and everything for that. Don't worry about it. But it's gonna be what's next. And it's gonna be just a smaller program than what we're doing. Because we've had a lot of people who go in right into our Hot Milk Club. That's, what, that's basically what we're offering afterwards for a whole year and um, coaching and all this other kind of stuff. But we also, I recognize that people don't want to necessarily commit for a year or even three months or whatever. They just want to know what's next. So we have a what's next program coming up and I'm going to give you um, all, the, all the details on how to really dial it in without losing uh, your momentum because that's the important thing. I don't want you sliding back. I want to keep you right where you are and keep you firing on all cylinders. You know, when you feel good, you do well. Have you noticed that? When you feel good about what uh, about your body, you're feeling good about what's going on inside and you're not in pain, you're not you know, dragging around, you're sleeping well. And by the way, if you haven't bought our Sleep Ease, for heaven's sakes, get on that. I, I'm, I've never slept better in my life, ever. It's the best formulation ever, and I, I will take just this much amount of credit for it. But it, it works like a charm, gangbusters. That's Sleep Ease. You can find it in our, um, you can find it in the, in the shop. It's ridiculously great. All right, we have all the questions answered, and you guys hung in there the whole time with me, and I so appreciate that. Don't forget, next week is our Stay Strong, Be Strong and Stay Strong Challenge coming up the week after the sprint. And this is absolutely crucial, especially if you, you know, fitness is a part of the equation. We want to be, we don't want to be ever be these women who fell down and can't get back up. You know, that's, we don't have to do that. We can be stronger than that. I'm going to talk about that. I've got a whole program for you. It's free. And I want you to make sure that you get signed up for this webinar so you can get it and be a part of it. It's going to be cool. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash strong. That's how you get your seat. And it's going to be happening this Monday. And don't worry, if you can't make it, we always send the replay so you have that as well. And that's it. Don't forget tomorrow is Soulful Saturday. And tomorrow, boom shakalaka. I'm going to teach you how to dig a ditch. Yeah. You're going to have to wait on that one. This is going to be awesome. I hope to see you there. Take care of yourselves. I really appreciate you. You are the best. Peace be with you. Bye. Thanks for watching. You can find us on YouTube on the Saving Dinner channel or on the Saving Dinner Facebook page. Check back daily for new episodes, Monday to Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you missed the live show, you can watch the replay. Until next time, pinkies up.